Morning everybody. I hope you're all well today. Um, I've been out and about in the yard doing some yard work and it kind of got to my back a little bit so I'm done for the day. I thought I better do a resin project and I'm rather excited about this one. Uh, once again, don't know how it'll work but we'll try it. Um, first of all, this mold is something I got from, um, what is it, We Online or something, I don't know, from overseas. But um, anyway, I want to make this a soap dish. I've seen these uh, type of molds, but they're a little narrower and they're a little longer and they make very nice trays. But I thought today this would be a perfect size for a soap dish in a bathroom. So, I've mixed up two ounces of my amazing clear cast, and I want to put some sand around the edges here. So, um, where's my cup? I do have some fine sand, I just put it in this container, that I got from Amazon, and it's available in my Amazon shop. And I also have some really tiny, tiny rocks here that I thought I would, I, I can't open it, I tied it too tight. So um, I'm going to add this to the sand, and then maybe a little silver glitter. I was torn between, well, I think I'm going to do gold glitter, a little fine gold glitter in the sand. So for the time being, let's just use this up, this little bit of gravel there. And I'll start with maybe a tablespoon of this sand. Um, it is available in all colors too. I used it quite a while ago with the different colors, but um, since we're doing oh we're doing a beach theme theme by the way, I'm still on the shell the shell kick the seashell kick. So I'm thinking that should be enough to go around the edge. I'll just add a little bit of my resin here. See if I can't mix that up and get it wet. So, there's a fine corn dog stick. I love my corn dogs. I know they're not healthy. I haven't had any for a while. They're kind of, I don't know what the brand I usually get did, but they're not holding up in the freezer very well these days. So maybe my corn dog kick is over with. I still love my potato chips. Oh mercy. I am bad about potato chips. We probably won't see those rocks. They might just be considered filler, I guess, because they're going to be covered up. Maybe. Maybe they'll come through. pretty thick. Let me just do a little more resin. Just a tiny bit. Call it good. You know, I don't buy jello very much or pudding in the little cups, but um, that's what this is, and Steve McDonald uses these quite often. And uh, they're, they're a perfect size for resining. Um, check out his channel. He's a fun man. He's very fun. He's very talented. I enjoy watching him. Steve McDonald. All right, let's pop open a little glitter. Now, this is dollar store glitter. It's very fine. Don't know if it'll show up, but we shall see. Yeah, we need some shine and sparkles. So, let's get this mixed up. Oh, I can see that. Perfect. Make it subtle. Should we make it subtle or just go for it? Just a little more in. What the heck, eh? Well, now I can open it. I want to thank everyone for joining me again today. 
I hope you enjoyed last week's video with the seashell letters. I thought they turned out absolutely gorgeous. I'm considering doing a big canvas with that sort of thing on it, but I don't have canvas, but I do have picture frames, and I do have some more um, plexiglass, plexiglass, so that might be uh, where I go with it. So I'm just going to try get this in the edges here. Because when we, uh, I'm going to have to do a clear base on the bottom, but when we flip it over, I'm going to add a little blue water to it, and, uh, well, blue resin, and then we'll add shells. So I'm thinking with the shells, oh, I'm just going to make a mess, with the shells being on, you know, the top, of the resin somewhat that that will be great to where the rim will catch uh, you know water from soap a soap bar and then that will um, be easy just to whoops rinse it off and that was good so that's my thought boy probably made more than I need what else can I do with this Thought if I had uh, extra resin out of these these two ounces, I might just top off some more of my little phone um, socket things that I didn't get to um, do top coats on. So that's the plan. And now I'm thinking about one more seashell project that I would like to try and I think that'll be big big in size and maybe a little time consuming but we'll see I guess I could have done sand on the sand on the whole bottom shoot I don't know why I wasn't thinking about that but I might have to see what happens first. There's some rocks. Oop, maybe that was my cue. Yes, put sand in the middle. Don't know if you'd see it once we put the shells in it. have to do it. Definitely add more resin though. Maybe to this. I want to go a little more natural looking with this. about bubbles. Well, shoot, since I've got it made up, let's just add a little more resin and do the whole bottom with it. And then I'll let this sit and probably maybe this evening work some more on it or, you know, of course, first, first thing in the morning. But tomorrow's Friday and I have a another busy weekend lined up. You know, my band money used to be um, groceries. Now it's... 
It's my resin addiction. There, that was handy. I can just throw that out. Just a little. I'm not going to make this one very thick. It is a pretty tall mold. Probably a good half an inch tall. But I don't think I have to make it that thick. I need to get some of those um, styrofoam makeup brushes next time that I'm at the dollar store or I get on Amazon. It's thin over there. Doesn't matter, does it? All right. It's, well, we need it as high as the edge of the sand. Gosh, maybe I will go ahead and use it all. But I don't think I should. Or I don't think I have to. I'll put that aside and work on my pop sockets. Okay, now with my little silicone pointy tip here, I'm going to go around and just kind of clean up those edges a little bit and pop some bubbles if they're there. Well, you know what I found out, but you don't have to. I'm just telling you, um, you might consider it. Um, in my Amazon shop, if you go into Amazon through my shop, and just shop for whatever it is, not just what I have in my storefront, um, I might still get a little commission off that. So just a little a little hint there that, you know, maybe it would help me out with my expenses. So I appreciate that. Like I said, I'm, I don't want to be pushy. It's just an FYI. Okay, I'm going to let this set, and I will get back with you either this evening or in the morning, and we will flip it and work on the inside, all right? Until then, have a wonderful day, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Good morning, everyone. I am back. Um, I was able to top coat my little pop sockets uh, with the leftover resin, and I'm just gonna move these out of the way. They need to be cleaned a little bit and the sockets put on the back so they turned out well i was able to finish all of them and uh let's see i love these blacks with the flowers inside all right this one i had some this was very thin and i had some spillover so that'll be easy to clean but getting to this mold with our sand in it. Now I mixed up just one ounce of um, my amazing clear cast. I'm not quite sure if that's gonna be enough, but um, rather than making blue uh, tinted resin, I'm gonna leave it clear. But, oh, that turned out really nice. Okay. A little bit of glitter in there, not too much. Edges aren't bad at all. Oh, I've got a hole. Yeah, well, that makes a bummer right there. I will definitely fix that maybe with some UV resin um, when it's finished. I'm not quite sure. Or maybe I can fill it. Let me put a piece of tape across that. And since we're pouring resin anyway, it'll be a clear spot, but... Um, since we're pouring resin anyway, maybe I can somehow fill that in. Just get that here. All right. Okay, so I um, gathered up some small shells 
And I think I'm just going to place them in and then brush the resin on top to seal them. At least they'll have a nice shine and they will be resined in. Oh, a few little holes right there. We'll work on that. So uh, I gathered together some small shells and um, I wanted to show you this mold in case I hadn't shown it to you before, but um, this is from Michael's in the um, condiment department or the um, you know fondant and cake decorating. I made a little starfish and that's going to be set in here because it's rather plain Jane and I think it'll fit in once the, we coat it with some resin. Anyway, that's a nice little mold. You've got a little, uh, well, there's an anchor and shells, a little turtle, fish, seahorse, and the starfish. So you might want to pick one of those up next time you're in Michael's. So let's see. Um, I have some petrified shells here and they're rather flat. So I thought I'd go ahead and use a few of those as, you know, fill in. You fill in where you can. And uh, it's got a hole in it. Well, that's, which side? That's flatter. We'll put that there. I think that's all that I grabbed. All right, now it's just a matter of setting some shells in here. We'll get the bigger ones in first. So it really doesn't matter where they go. Maybe they should go that way. I'm not sure. Well, let's see what happens. I've got several. Get the bigger ones in first. That's pretty. Oh, it's shiny already. And uh, now these shells I've already had, but I'm gonna put. Uh, I'm gonna look up some shells on Amazon and um, let you uh, see what's available there, and I'll put them in my storefront. Oh, I didn't realize I did have another. Ooh, that's a seashell from resin. And I'm sticking to the brown tones. Kind of like those. Let's put the starfish in here. And now, here, I'm just going to fill in. I've got some, um, oh, what are these called? Oh, I'm not quite sure what these are called. This has a hole in it, but I think we're going to put the opening of the shell side down. And uh, gosh, I might have to dig out some more, eh? Come on, flip over. Over, over. That one's kind of got a, that's got a crack in it. Don't need that one. Here's one. Um, I've got plenty, so we might have to dig out some more. Here's just a piece of stone. But I don't want them too high above the ridge. That one might be. It's not going to set properly, is it? It's going to be difficult. I have to change that, too. Oh, gosh, just so many. So many. Um, and they're so beautiful. I did uh, grab my gravel in case I needed to... Um, some more fill-in, fill-in parts. Now that's a broken piece, but I think it stands too too tall. That one over here. Well, let's put that over there. Cute, cute, cute. Some more of these. Let's see, and we're getting smaller and smaller. It's hard with these gloves on. Just filling the holes. Let me take this off. At least one of them. I can't do it. Can't pick them up. Okay. There's a... That one will work. Alright, another little shell. And many more. Oh, there's a... I did do a sand dollar in resin. We'll put that there. And more of these. Little conches. Is that what you call them? Conches? Oh, I don't know what that is. It's got a hole in it. I'm going to try to avoid the ones with holes in them because we can actually make jewelry with some of those. Do I have room? Come on, we're squeezing in tight. We're squeezing in tight. This is a unique little shell, isn't it? Several of those. 
And then there. I said I just want the soap bars to sit on top of the ribbon. Okay, we're down to little, little itty. Oh, here's a pretty conch. Can that go in there? Maybe we should go over here. All right, little bitty, look at how tiny. Oh my gosh. They are just adorable. So many gaps with some of those. So small. So small. Let's see. Oh, here's another one of those little striped ones. Pretty. Say, oh, that's got a hole. No. Nope. Well, here's one of these. Tiny. Oh, there's a. Whatever these are. I saw a chart on Instagram, and I should have downloaded it of all the different types of seashells. Maybe I can find it again and use it. Oh, put a few over. Come on. Moving, moving, moving. Well, what do you think? Still have plenty more. Here's a rock. Let's throw that in. Tinies. Whoop. Maybe I'll get the resin on and then we can add. Well, I don't want to do that. I want to do it all at one time. Flip over you. Come on. Well, this will be very pretty, rather natural. You know, nothing too fancy. You can stack a few. Ooh. Down there, right there. That was my intent, to stack a few if I have to. Have to dig out some more but there's plenty oh you saw my stash gosh lovely so lovely it's here oh look at that tiny little one that's got a hole all right let's pour before my resin gets crazy bad actually I'm going to grab a little gravel put it in here. Oops. Will that be too much? Ooh, that one might be too big. Maybe not. Just add a little bit. Fill in the little gaps. I'm collaging again, aren't I? Yes, just, I guess that's my forte. Or only because I have an excess of everything, it seems like. Which one you set down? Almost there. Oh, come on. Too many stones. I think this will be nice in a bathroom, won't it? Whoop, now they're all just going. Few more. Whoop. That in there. Sit down. Okay, I probably can add a few of those in a minute. Oh darn, I was gonna add a bead. Where can we put a bead? A little pearl bead. Kind of a copper color. Tweezers. I just want that little area. All right, are we making progress? A few there. The 
hole of the bead is not showing. That's good. Move you there. Couple right here. Oh god, I moved those two, didn't I? All right. Oops. Ah, I got carried away. So even if they stick up, I want resin on them. Okay, what have I messed up here? I don't want that part showing. Flip you over. Ah. It might have been easier with resin in first, but we're going with this. It's your preference, whatever you want to do. Just design, design, design. Just want to move this one before my resin gets too warm. Ah, Billy. Sit down. I'm getting this area all messed up. What can we do about that? I can move you. Let me put you back. Oh, no. Did you see that? I just grabbed it by mistake. Oh, you don't need to be there. Where's another shell? Here we go. Here we go. Let's just do it because the more I fuss, the worse it will get, I think. Right? We can add little stones in a minute. All right, glove. Get the finger in there. Push it down just a little. All right. All right. Now, I want to cover all of it, so I might have to brush over. Let's see where we're at. Are you down? And I might not have enough. I just want to over cover them all, and I can't see that well. Ooh, you popped up. He's down. He's down. Come on. Just a little bit. Okay. Okay. And I didn't want resin on that. Fill our hole if we can over here. And I know my arm's in the way and I'm so sorry. I'm going to get... I think we're going to have just enough, but I want to be sure that all the shells have resin on them. Oh, we lost the starfish. It blends too well. I'm not digging them out now. Over there. Oh, it is down all the way. Put that in the hole. What did I just see? Let's get our pearl covered up. I guess we didn't have to, but might as well. All right, this guy needs covered. What am I missing? Gosh, that was probably just enough, wouldn't you say? Let me point this hole down. Okay, gosh, this hole. I'm just gonna have to fill it. Where's my stick? There. That's the one I was looking for. Make sure they all have resin on. Just so they shine. I thought about sprinkling some glitter, but I don't think I will. We've got enough glitter. In the um, edge of the sand with the sand. Okay, gosh, I think this is it. Um, I 
see a place where I might want to put a couple rocks right here. I think that'll be a really pretty soap dish, don't you? Okay. Should be good. Should be good. Let me cover those little rocks up. Oh, you know what I should have put in? Darn it. Have you seen those little koi fish molds? I have some, and I made some koi fish, and they are so cute. But this will be... This will be it, and I had just enough. All right. Okay. Wow. Wow. Sweet. Okay. Look at that. Take my flashlight and just double check that everything's covered. Oh, there's one right there. But that was a plan, and the plan worked out. There's a gap right there. Another stone. Right under there. Good. Good. Put you down. That's better. A little tap tap. You're sticking up. Oh well, at least resin's in there. Okay. Quit fiddling. Let's cover this one. Uh, take some stills of this when it's done and we can call this project pretty much complete gosh I'm second guessing again a shine okay everyone hey wasn't that easy thank you for joining me have a good weekend and um, I will catch up with you soon have a good day bye